Basa sa puno sa gino and pray para sa atong uh, pagpagalan doon ani mag-start ko sa uh, pag-inform sa inyo na mag-ibon na punta ba itong uh, book study. Okay? I ask Pastor Dung the permission and I shall keep my Pastor. And I will be going through the book of Galatians. Uh, please, if you have time, you can read this uh, maybe 10 to 15 minutes straight. Uh, please uh, emerge completely. Emerge at the same time para ma orient orient ka as uh, we uh, study this together sa atong uh, Sunday uh, preaching. And the reason why anong piece of yun ang akong ginapili because uh, uh, since na ito na church medyo Di pa magigkait sa daan. No? Salamat sa mga kaisulan na nag-advance sa ilang learning sa theology o sa doctrines. But as a church, we have to go through doctrines. We need that. At all. And then yung uh, katada sa episode, kaya na doctrines, kaya mga issues, and now we're talking about the situation. Yeah? The reason why na uh, one. Kasi may dili ko magwali yung all this event. One, but this time, uh, please bear with me sa sa atong pag uuli sa atong sa video sa atong populations. Uh, now, at ito na, gamay lang ang background, with ito na magbugay ano, brief lang. Ang writer sa book populations, wala yan, it's the Apostle Paul. And uh, siya po ang founder ano, yung church. And dili ni uh, church, one church, but churches uh, in uh, Galatia, province of Galatia. And the sulat kini mga Bible scholars nagatuo sila na ang ang pagsulat ani na na as sa uh, 48 to 49 AD most Bible uh, study Bibles naga na ana ang na naga sila na this is the closest uh, date na sulat ini ni Apostle sila kato ibitan pagkamitan ibitan very really close ba? Mm-hmm. Baka yun? Uh, 48, 49. And uh, makita ko din mong account na si Apostle Paul nag-ato sa Galatia at uh, province sa Galatia uh, sa Book of Acts. Uh, makita na ito na account na sa Acts 15. Ang recipient adding nga book, uh, of course, mga believers adding nga province. Ang occasion, this is uh, important uh, sa book study. Ang uh, occasion ani nga nung isulat ni ni Apostle Paul, what, what happened was that believers start falling away to depart the gospel that he preached to them, especially the Gentile believers. Okay? Ang mga believers, ani nga churches, mga churches, naghinahinay na sila change sa ilang katotohanan. Nag-preach si Apostle Paul sa ilaha. Di ko doon, di ko Apostle Paul sa ilaha. Kung makakita mong papa na sukok kayo sa iyang anak, kung naging anak si Apostle Paul aning ang panahon, he was so angry, very upset, ng ano man mo, ano, mag-iingon ko nga maon eh, ang inyong gihi mo, lahi. So, yung ana ang mood of, uh, ang emotion ani na, kung Iwag ka na siya, grabe kay Harsi Apostle Paul Ali. Uh, kay Gignan Galing niya, you foolish, foolish Galatians, who bewitch you, who tempt you. Huh? Kinsay nagkuhan sa inyo. Ang, ang, ang katingalan pa ganyan niya na, nga nung ingana, kakuwit ang inyong pagtuko sa, uh, sa mga post church. Paul's Gospel. Kaya nga naman, kaya at kami nga time po na ay mga audio. No? Mga Judaizers. Ang ilang pag, o 
kuan pag pagtundo nila sa mga believers din na hindi nila na oh oh nila na inyo ingon sila ang mga Judaizers ay na they teach that you must first become a Jew and keep the law before you can put your faith in Christ and become a Christian so okay ba na nga magtuho ka pero wait kung pwede balik na gamay nga na ang ilang pagtudlo at pagtudlo and uh, yun yung apostle po they were disturbing uh, churches and they destroyed the message so muna ang occasion na nila well, uh, some says that the uh, book of Galatians uh, uh, this is one of the most explosive letter grabe explosive because he was defending why ganun ing ana ng attitude ni apostle po pag sila tinali because he was de- defending the central point of the purity of the gospel that's the reason why he is very bold ani this is this is unacceptable sa ako ana siya oh sa dios nga ako ang gihatagan ani nga mensahe kada para pagtudlo sa inyo. Di ko ni madawat. Butong pili, grabe. Ulbo ang, ang, uh, ulbo si, si, Puzzle Paul Ani. Ang emotion, grabe din. Uh, the purpose of the book is to counter and bring believers back to the pure and undefined gospel. The gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the reason kung magbasa ka ani and then kung naakay na encounter the same yung yapo na sa ako sa hay ba murag uh, na ay mga tao nga uy salut nga na nga na kung ma encounter na ni mo and then later on ay dati ba and ay mga nga na nga well labi na dili kay ka uh, definitely uh, and um, well versed sa imong belief so dali pa ka mahuan at bangga ganin na rin yung mga Cuba's witness um wala pa tayo mga RCC nga oh ayun na ayun na ayun na ayun na ayun na ito mag-iskot na na ang gabi kay sila sa buwan sa ilang sa ilang system of belief so nga na ang buwan very strong ang Jewish community yan eh sa panahon sa ilang na tayo so ang purpose ni Puso Paul he had encounter a false gospel and bring back the believers to believe the pure and undefiled gospel. Along the uh, the way as we study, ma encounter na to mga issues of book of Galatians, the issues about, uh, this is not my original, uh, we, we kuha din ako sa ASB study Bible. Uh, ma encounter na to yung the delay in a book, um, a true gospel and the false gospel, very clear in the ring of book, of faith versus uh, works-based salvation, uh, law versus grace, we will uh, cover that, uh, liberty versus legalism. Huh? Uh, sonship versus slavery. Uh, as a chapter 6, kung magbasa ka ano, makita niyo the fruit of the spirit versus the desires of the flesh. So along with this, uh, kung ano pa man siguro, mga discover na ito, pero mabi ng mga uh, sub-themes, no? mga subject na mga naitaw ko na ako sa book of creation. Na sila'y similarity sa book of Romans. No? Kaya ang Romans niya po justification by uh, now, uh, again, the theme of the book, kung magbasa din ka, is about justification by the book of Galatians is about justification by faith. Uh, verse 1 through 5. Let me read this to you. Paul, an apostle, not sent from men, nor through the agency of man, but through Jesus Christ and God, the Father who raised him from the dead and all the brethren who are with me to the churches of Galatia Galatia grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord 
Jesus Christ who gave himself for our sins so that he might rescue us from the present evil age according to the will of our Father, of God, our God and Father, to whom be the glory forevermore. Amen. Lord, praise the God. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much for the opportunity to look at your word, Lord. Uh, we may not understand, I may not explain everything I need to know. Uh, there may be extent, uh, truth, and in a dimension of the But Lord, please uh, allow us to see your word, to hear your word today. You know, that's what we expect, you know. You will know, be glorified. And on the other hand, you will be magusuk kami sa mga kalanon ng mga kahamin niyo. Kaya mo na mo pinahamlan, mo na magamit na mo every time mo pinabuhi kami sa tubo ng mga Lord. Pabangit kami at tuwas ang kapit ko din o sa inyong alam at magaling spiritu mo yung magliyok sa mo ha. Ang mga kasintasin as we look at the Lord. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Now, kung na ako yung title at yung kuhan na preaching and titled the a form of a question. What what church is all about? That's my time. What church is all about? As a Christian, uh, as you as you try to figure out uh, many years that I like, like Simba so, so what what kind of uh, church I I should belong? Being a Christian, that's your responsibility. You deserve to find a church uh, uh, asa kadapat. Uh, this one. Uh, so, what church is all about? And the challenge now is that there are many churches available right? for you to go. Very challenging. Very challenging. And then, uh, so, uh, I'm going to give you the meaning of the text. Uh, the meaning of the text is that the church should stand the gospel message that the finished work of Christ is sufficient for man's justification. That's the meaning. Okay? The church should stand the gospel message that the finished work of Christ is sufficient for man's justification. Nothing else. Justification by faith in Christ alone. So, uh, so, pastor, so church, because the church, uh, the church exists for the glory of God. Yes, that's true. We exist for the glory of God. That's true. But how can we glorify God if our gospel or the gospel of the church is wrong? Huh? So, makita uh, ninyo yung dilemma ni. So, kung mga ito kagsimbahan, yes, ang iyong purpose, uh, mag-imayat mag na sa ginoo, mag-give praises and glory sa iya ha. Pero, nakita ang emphasis sa... Uh, uh, sa church. Meaning, hindi na ito ma-separate ang glory sa ginoo from the correct message and the correct gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. As a church, Christ, uh, as a church of Christ, we must stand on this doctrine. We must be dogmatic. Ani. Basta gani, justification is good time. Di yun tamo sugod, pinaagi sa pulo sa yun. Sugod yun tama, fail man that. Pero ang pulo sa ginoo, very strong, that justification is only by faith in Jesus Christ alone. Uh, justification by faith in Christ alone is what makes a church a church of Jesus Christ. Okay? Uh, if the church denies this doctrine, then the church is not 
where we could be called for. So, if one took and write Halos, man, on the street, I'm sure that one of the ones that we have to do is what they are doing. I'm not going to ask that one, but anyway, ako kaya po na i-con niya po ito na po lang daulot naman kay Gaston na yan but anyway duwa ng katamatuuran kanin yung duwa katamatuuran in Sintura Bordesia okay number one is that we are going to look at the authenticity of the Gaston message in the church si Apostle Paul de Rey kung makita nato sa verse 1 and 2 ang issue ane is that about this Apostle Paul Apostle, Lord Jesus, Paul, and Apostle. Usually, he na gamit niya band servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pero di gamit na niya sa verse ten ang band servant. Pero pag intro kini niya sa yam book sa Galatians, di gamit niya ang word niya Apostle. I am the Apostle of Jesus Christ, not sent from men nor through the agency of man, but through Jesus Christ. And God the Father. This is very uh, important statement. Who raised him from the dead? And all the brethren who are with me to the churches of Gal Galatia. So remember, si Paul, uh, he is not one of the twelve apostles. Remember? Mula man siya nakauban ang to. Ang iyang qualifications ay ang pagkaposol very unique. Kay ga persecute siya sa church na ngayon siya kuan ganang giatagan siya sa sa mga Pharisees sa sab talibin ng mga Pharisees ang iyang level na please give me permit I will persecute the church. Going to the road of Damascus, he encountered the Lord Jesus Christ. According to First Corinthians chapter nine verse one. Paul encountered the the Lord Jesus Christ. So, sa ato pa kaniyang verse one, although this is part of his introduction, kay formal letter ni, gina introduce niya to kaniyon, nakita nato ang recipient. Pero pero al pag pag explain niya sa yung introduction, very direct. Wala na yung ganon. Wala pa. I am an apostle, ah. So, ah, Paul defend his apostolic authority. That's one, and the authenticity of the message he preached to these, to these churches, the church of Galatia. He defended, defended his apostolic authority and the authenticity of. The message. Now, if you look at, let me read to you Acts thirteen two. Sa sino sa ni sa mga account na nagi evidence, yung wala lang siya kay kung na encounter niya si Jesus Christ sa Lord of the Masters. Kama siya makakauban na to. Pero may record niya na kumban din sila hantol hantol na mo'y magtestify niya kanisya na kwan. Pero sa kanisya na na encounter niya yung ginoo. Ah, in fact, kung magtanaw ka sa mga movies, kailan about sa kampo ah Saul, Paul kaya kapan ko arila. Ah, si si Paul ito, nag nag buwan, yan na tagak siya na nagistoryaha, yun ang 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 pictures at yung mga kaupan. Ako sa mga nasa ano ina ano ba? Ina na ang buwan. So wala wala yung record ano na na kung kaupan ni Apostle Paul na same po sila o nagkubal sila pag pag ministry sa church. Pero nai-record niya si Apostle Paul I don't know if naagid ha please correct me kung na makakita pero sa chapter 13 sa book of Acts in which it read while they were serving the Lord or worshiping the Lord and fasting the Holy Spirit said okay Set Barnabas and Saul apart from me for the work, for the work. This is the Holy Spirit, for the work to which I have called them. Okay? Then when, when they had fasted, prayed, and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. 
So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down. So kung ibong tanawan diri, usan na sa mga evidences, makita na po na naagbili na itabo. Na ang kanini yun ni Apostle Juan diri, nga ang pagpadala sa ako, lahat, lahat, unique pa ng ako, pero tinungon niyo kung nagitawag sa Diyos. Sa Acts chapter 9, na encounter niya dito, pagkabot sa verse 13, na ay pagtawag sa balaang espiritu. Nag-send, nipadala siya, na ano niyo? Not sent from men, nor, pero nabi ay mga believers at po, naglayahan pa siya. Pero ang iyang gi-acknowledge, good pag-ayo, is uh, uh, through the agency of men, but through Jesus Christ. And the God of and the God and God the Father. So, in other words, kaninga mensahe ni Apostle Paul pretty suko kaisya kay ang iyan message is from Christ. He received a message from Christ. Giwali ni rito and then karon he destroy he corrupt. Muna nga sa aning nga kwan sa permiro palang. He defended the young, please believers, listen to me because my authority and my and the authenticity, uh, authenticity of the message is correct that because that is from the Lord Jesus Christ. So, muna ang iyan kwan, uh, makita na to the end. And then, pakapiniya, yun sa verse 2, and all the brethren who are with me, and some Bible scholars, they, they said that uh, ingon sila na. Kanang, kanang uh, statement na refer na sa mga uh, some apostles na namit niya o ang mga believers with the same message na gikan sa iya. So although wala siya nakauban sa mga apostles, gita to the apostles, pero kung imong iuban ano yung ilang mensahe, the same ba? Okay? Uh, muna ang mga uh, sa, uh, suggestion, uh, muna ang mga nakita sa mga scholars. And uh, meaning, si Paul, ang, ang implication na niya, kanin minsay na ko, dili ni naging nasara, dili ni separated from the apostles, the other apostles, kung tanawan ganin ni mo. Uh, sa verse 18, si Apostle Paul ni add to give sa Jerusalem. Yan di pa validate ang yung message. Ang si Peter, ni add to siya sa Jew ang iyong ministry, si Paul sa Gentiles. Pero before ni Paul ni Anton yun siya dito. Kaya ang, I think ang, ang council aning uh, time sa church fathers ang council aning na sa Silan James. Sa, sa si James ang pastor sa Jerusalem aning na panahon. So, naasa na dito ang mga apostles kung kuad uh, gusto ka mag-missionary and you have to go to the church. So, kung sa mga imobili, kung sa mga imobili, so si Paul ni Adler ito. So, um, pwede na ma-account na lang ito ka na nga kung nga ang mensahe ni Apostle Paul, wala, dili siya different sa mga mensahe ni Christ. I am preaching the message of, the, of Christ, uh, John the Baptist, and the rest of the disciples. So, uh, una na, magkita na to. But the point is that uh, Paul's apostleship and his message came from Christ. That's really what he's saying sa verse 1. Muna ginakommunicate niya. I am an apostle. That's an introduction. Pero, ang ginakapoint yun niya nga, uh, kani nga minsay, hili ni ako nga mugna-mugna lang. So, therefore, Paul has the right to determine what is the true gospel in the false gospel. Because you know kung unsa yun ang tinuod ni Messiah. Okay? And the gospel he brought to the churches of Galatia uh, is that Christ's work is sufficient for man's justification. Uh, kung iwan ka na, Paul would agree that you know that's true. Huh? Uh, that is one of the truths that, uh, that is one of the truths 
on the church existence to look for. Okay, kung ikustuhanan ka, responsibility na din mo nga, tan aon sa, kung sa ilang ginawa, hindi lang kay church, church lang na. Ha? Kay kung sayop ni, di gina church. Plano din na. Kung sayop ang, ang stand sa church ani, di gina pwede tawag ng church. Kay sayop na. Muna si Paul nga, kung balik mo sa'yo, katuluanan. Muna ang iyang makita ito, the authenticity of the gospel message in the church. So, if you ask a question, what uh, uh, the, what church is all about? Look at the message. Look at the doctrinal stand of the church. That's very important. Dili ni kay magsimba-simba lang yun sa direct. Hindi importante ang uh, message. And then, uh, not only the authenticity of the message, gospel message in the church, uh, we also consider the centrality of the gospel message in the church. Kung sa mga yun, ang sinuro ang yun. This point, we look at the, the cause of the gospel or and the content of the gospel, okay? Uh, now, please note nga, ang re- recipient ani ng letter churches, hindi ko niya plural uh, Again, hindi ko na itong nagilip na siya mega church. Kung dilip this, uh, these churches were local churches in the province of Galicia. So, uh, uh, Paul never mentioned also about the size size of the church or or a building or what kind of program you have you never mentioned that uh, how many people pila ka mok ang inyong members sa choir wala niya mentioned the main concern is Christ's life and the work and his work on the cross and very clear there is the Apostle Paul kung hindi mong basahon the verse grace to you and peace from God this is the greeting sa ila pero ino dyan from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ take note this who gave himself for our sins so that we might rescue us from this present evil age according to the will of our God and Father to whom be glory be the glory forever more. So, the centrality of gospel message of very kanipalandaan of Paul is very Christocentric, Christ-centric person. Wala yung point. Muna nga, mo-reflect na yan mga kaisunan. Kung concern di ka sa work and person in Jesus Christ of church, that would reflect everything. But the way we we Look at church, uh, really more on kisa na kaya ato mahimo sa church kundi on say mahimo the Christ of church. Okay, uh, meaning it doesn't matter how big or small the church is, the church must proclaim Christ crucified. Okay, these churches receive the true gospel of. Christ. Sila nakadawat man sila. Mumuling mumuling message in Jesus Christ. And the cost of the church, the cost of the church is what? Christ's life and his work. The cross. Okay? Well, can I understand the whole magkaining a term when he said, who gave himself. What is that? Jesus Christ. What? That speaks about what? The life of Christ and is death on the cross. Ha? Huh? Hindi na lang ako i-detail. Pero naayos ka word yan ka ng word for. That's a very important word. Uh, tungod kay sa Greek, na ay tulog ka, na ay tulog ka, kuha na na, na ay tulog ka, uh, word na mo appear, ka ng word na for. And then, kung sa man, oper, antay, opere, <laughs> so sa Greek, kana dua pere o op 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 
Cooper, Cooper din. Yan ang dua. Ang, ang, ang mga scholars, ang gigamit niya kay kung ano man, Cooper, yan ang four. Uh, ang naay term na gigamit niya na mag-refer sa butang for the chair. Ano ba? Mura yung nga. Ito, pero kanil, mag-refer din din sa very, kung ano man kayo niya. Uh, understand the word is that for to get it for our sins so that he might rescue us from this present evil age so the emphasis of the word for really is that Christ in behalf prepare in behalf of his people for their benefits he died so that they will not suffer God's judgment. Okay? In the place of the in the place of the uh, of the, the people na simple si Christ ang naghimo. He gave himself for our sins so that we will not go and experience uh, uh, anak na judgment. Lagi na. Lagi gitu. Kuan? Pag ibasay din niya sa death of Jesus Christ, ang um, um, death of Jesus Christ, siya ang um, um, eternal wrath na ipanin sa iyo. Uh, eternal, ha? Because you offended the eternal God, the eternal wrath na uh, yung panin sa iyo, yung tuha ni Christ kasi siya naman ang matagir, no? kaya ito yung naman ang matagir. Walay lain, walay lain substitute yung makahinwa na si Christo Ragun on your behalf, on my behalf. So, grabe kayo na nga, yung sayo muna. Uh, meaning, man cannot add anything of Christ's work in order for him to be free from the wrath of God. Dili na pwede nga dugangan pa ninyo. The work of Christ on the cross is sufficient and final. That's all. He drank all the cup. The wrath of God. Yang ino. Yang ikuwa. Wala na kay dapat. Busa. Mga kay sunan ang church daily chief. Ha? Dili siya very valuable ni, very precious ni, sa mata sa Diyos. Musa dili na ito, hindi ko hangan. Ang at stake, ali, ang ginoo. Kali church, this is not a place na dulaan na ito, or unsa. Ingani ang, ingani ka precious. Ang cost, ali, ang life ni Jesus Christ, di ito ka ba yan, ali? Church has eternal value in the lives of the believers. Dapat masabda na nato. Na kamaturan. This gathering and this gathering of believers is the highest form of gathering on earth that God is most glorified. Wala na yung lahat na niya. Wala na yung makareplace na niya yung kaisunan niya tigong na diya magkuha ang diya magkuha ang glory sa ginoo. Sa ay ang tanahan na ito sa church yung ginahan ito, ang kailang kung hindi, hindi ba? No. In the life of this truth na ang cost niya sa church is the life, work, and person of Jesus Christ. That makes sense na mo yun ito na Pili na ka the best place to go for a Christian place. Of course, we're not talking about the burning. We're talking about the community of the universe. The universe. Jesus Christ. Makita po natin. Mga kaisunda, the death of Christ changed the nature of the universe. Of his people. By the way, so that he might rescue us from this present evil present present evil age. This is the glorification, okay? 
ultimate uh, the ultimate removal of the believers from the evil world uh, is yet to be done in the future. Uh, so, of course, the context and the theme of the book, book is about justice. Okay, so uh, so that he he might rescue us from the present from this present evil. Okay, let me. Uh, Read another text that would shed light on Ephesians 2, in which he's talking to the believers, but he's talking about the old life of the believers, in which you previously walked according to the course of this world. You see that, that one idea, according to the prince of the power of the air, of the spirit that is now working in the sons of disobedience. Among them, too. We too all previously lived in the last of the of our flesh, indulging the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and we were by nature children of what? Wrath, just as the rest. Verse 4. Thank the Lord. There is a word, but the contrast of the even that. But God being rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us. Even when we were dead in our wrongdoings, made us alive together, who? With Christ, by grace you have, you have been saved, and raised us up with him, and seated us uh, with him uh, in him, in heavenly places, in Christ Jesus. So that in the ages to come, this is, this is future, but Wala sa wala pa na na, ito po, something happened sa kinabuhi sa believer. There was a change, a great change really around them. There was a new creation. What? The phrase means that Christ doesn't take us out of the world, but He rescued us from the nature of before we are not justified, right now we are changed. We are declared righteous because of what? Because of Christ, what Christ has done on the cross on our behalf. So. Uh, so life, so the life of the believer now are distinct. Believers now are distinct from evil generation. Lahit na yun because that because uh, of the change nature. So before a nature na to incline the value. Uh, because you are not yet justified. You are uh, those uh, good works, righteousness, just like filthy rust. So that is only by the Alvinina. The difference is believer, believers, good words, and and the unbelievers good words is that the unbelievers good words they try to do good to earn righteousness. We do good because Christ saved us. Because the, because of the righteousness of Christ, we do good. That's the fruit of the righteousness, the, the new nature. Nila, di mo ang dinila tanan putang. Bisan sayo, ipaka, ipaka, oan, ipaka maayo. Kay muna ang requirements nila. Example sa mga M people. I don't know kung pinuod kayo lang katuguanan kung patay ka. That uh, one merit 
Especially sa taong nga dili mo to o sa ilaha. That's merit. For them, that's good work. Pero ang ilang paghimuan na nga maayon na sa ila uh, para i-favor sila sa dino. Ipa, we do good because we have been favor. We experience the grace, the amazing grace of so, uh, muna na si Christ dere sa atong church walay uh, lain tao na ibayad si Christus. The reason why we exist in the Bible because of Him and His work. Walay lain. Okay? So, and also Paul, he gave some blessings sa uh, mga believers. Ani, ani word, nasa yung word dyan, upat na at yung upat. Uh, grace to you, peace from God, sa pagyo. God's will, according to the will of God and Father, and then what? Glory to Him forever more. Yan ang mga privileges na na mag-exist grace we need grace ha? pero hindi na may mong grace kung wala si Christo niya sa kama hindi na may mong grace kung wala ang person ni Christo Jesus that is why we define grace unmerited favor okay uh, we enjoy that please enjoy like like saying despite of uh what happens in your mind? You will have been joining the Lilo of the Enjoy the grace of the Lord because of Christ. Uh, peace. This could be a personal and corporate level because he is addressing the church. Pero ang church composed ng individuals. So, kung saan na maka... Ang congregate ko, tinuon yung kaminaw. Mga ito. Wala yung lahil si Christo ito sa inyo. O ba ang passage in the... Thanks be to God for this watch. And speak of joy. Thanks to God for the peace that the earth has to buy. Ito sa inyo yung pinapunod na ka experience in the moment I am very lost. I have no peace in my life. What's going on? Okay, so let this go to Christ to rest. Peace. God's will. God's desire. That peace of God's desire for the church. And he desire that Christ must be the center. That's the will of God in our lives and in the church. He is the center. He is the central point of our life. And that decree, dili na kung hindi ni Moos doon. Kung imo kaya na mausap, kung nang siko si Paul, ayaw mo ba? Si Cristo na yun ang makaluwas na ito. Si Cristo na yun ang makasatisfy na ito. Iyang word, sufficient yun sa ako maluwasan. So, big na niyo po yun. Uh, that's God's will. And uh, the one. And then, of course, the end goal is us. You know? The end goal is huh? to whom is a hope. Right. To whom be glory forever more. So that's the goal of the believer. Walay undang ang pag-glorify na ito. Kaya, dere, sa kalibutan, hangkod mo at pinagpapapa. While we are still here, while we are still a big people, do that. We have to do that to the church. Give glory. Christ. Glorify Christ 
because Christ is the center, center point of the church. All glory belongs to Christ. Now, the Trinity, based on this text, Christ, because of Christ, justification is by faith in Jesus Christ. No matter that. Practically, believers should focus on the message, person, and the work of Christ in the church, not self promotion. Okay? This is our common ground, mga guys. Huh? Not program focus. Program. Uh, not program focus. Please, no puppet show. Please, no puppet show. Huh? Puppet show. No puppet show. Christ. Ang atong preach dere. Dili puppet show. In the church, please. Uh, whatever things na mag distract sa person ni Christ, we have to eliminate. Kani kung mo abot ang panahon yung makadistract ni. And camera, we have to eliminate that because we want to exalt and recognize that He is our Lord and King. Uh, salamat sa ingana, salamat sa mga magamit natin. Uh, we use that for the purpose that we give us to worship Him. Kaani pinagi ni ini na ay maka kita, makadungog. Church, please, we have to eliminate those things. The Puritan, they try to make church very simple. They sing together, they behave well, no more colors, just wood. In the table, open by the and we teach us. That's worship. Simple, but Christ centered. Whatever takes place in the church, in this church, it could be fellowship, preaching, discipleship, evangelism, it is because of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, it is because of the Lord Jesus Christ. More of Christ, less in self. Uh, Christ will increase and I must decrease. Please, it's all about Jesus Christ. I will call again the only one is ordered. The only thing we can contribute we can offer all salvation. Yeah, in a paraphrase. Uh, only sin, nothing. Nothing else. And yet, Jesus Christ came and saved sin. That's me. Father, uh, thank you so much for your word, Lord. I pray that you will bless, Lord, sa among mga kasing-kasing. Lord, forgive us, you know, all sa mga impurities, sa among mind, sa among heart. Lord, grabe ang among pagkinabuhi. You know, but uh, thank you to the among word good, no? uh, like a fire, like a hammer na mga mag- Matungin sa mga kinabuti. Salamat ani. Opportunity Lord. That uh, it's a privilege of church that we can exalt your name. You know, we you know, wala ilain, Lord. Every time we meet, it's not because of someone. You know, nah, we thank the Lord for fellowship, for believers. We appreciate that. We love that. We love to see each other. But Lord, kung kana mo yung mag-destroy sa yung uh, person, Lord, please uh, spare us. Ano na mga kwanino mga buta? We have to only come because of you. And in that, I'm very warm and uh, 
Dublin Street was a few overflow below us and more to the moon. Lord, the salamat Lord, the best we are praying some more to say to my Lord, the Lord, the Lord, for whatever reason, you know, please be with them. Diyan po na mo, ang mga tayo na mo, ano ang mga problema? Please Lord, be with them, comfort them, provide healing to the mga kapitas, and Lord, we commit to you, ang mga 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 mga. Bless us, even as we face this another week, you know, kung hindi tayo na imagine ka, hindi niya ang mga lang. As we walk, as we meditate, as we read your word, as we pray, you know, in our mga 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 Now, mag-enjoy kami dito uh, ang among views of Christianity, ang among views of Christ. You know, I live by the term, yes, I know. Uh, despite, you know, or despite mo na yung mga circumstances na uh, kasakit, you know, and now, mag-overcome that. Balay kong ka sa wala kapusan, please go to accept our, our worship, you know, for the Lord Jesus. Amen.